Good morning, it's Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Shipwrecked Faith, and our scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 1, where the Apostle Paul is talking to his young protege. Cling to your faith in Christ and keep your conscience clear, for some people have deliberately violated their consciences. As a result, their faith has been shipwrecked. Everyone is born with faith. Life is a series of faith choices, both good and poor. When we place our faith in a chair, for instance, by sitting on it, we exercise our faith that the chair will hold us up. If it does, it was well-placed faith. If it doesn't, oh well. If we place our faith in a man who whispers to us on the street corner, Psst, hey buddy, you want a great deal? I got these Rolex watches worth 20 grand each. I'll sell you one for 75 bucks. Chances are rather strong our faith in that guy will rust as fast as the watch. It's one thing to be naive about the worth of a trinket. It's quite another matter to allow preconceived notions about God shipwreck our faith. Faith in spiritual matters is supposed to guide our choices towards God's open arms. Misplaced trust in anything other than God's will and way leads to a shipwreck of our faith. Sometimes we cling to a hope that's ill-founded merely because it sounded good or real when we first heard it from a friend. We didn't run it through the God filter. Instead, we just believed it. We placed our faith in it and couldn't believe how badly it turned out. It's like the story of the man who worried himself over the question of whether life wasn't fooling him, and he began to think he was dead. He started believing it and telling everyone he was dead. No friend or family member could convince him otherwise. Finally, they got him into therapy, and the psychiatrist had no better result. The man thought he was dead. Frustrated, the shrink decided on a graphic, undeniable test. He asked the troubled man, Do dead men bleed? The man said, No, dead men don't bleed. With that, the shrink pulled out a pin, pricked the man's arm with it, and it started to bleed. The shrink pointed to the man's arm and they asked, So what do you make of that? The man, now puzzled, finally offered, Well, I'll be darned. Dead men do bleed. What Apostle Paul was telling Timothy is a stern warning for any one of us to beware of letting our faith settle on anything that won't pass the blood test. There's so much heat these days on television news and social media, blogs and vlogs galore, which promote hatred, violence, and rebellion, as well as perversity as a normative good choice if that's what you want. That kind of stuff conflates a small amount of truth about political and sociological problems with isolated Bible verses to create a wedge of doubt between your conscience and the good sense given to you by God's kindness. We can fall victim to good-sounding but false theories of how to view the world. We can be like Eve who heard the serpent whisper, Did God really say that? Satan even used that tactic, quoting scripture to Jesus. Way out of context, of course, the devil was tempting Jesus to abandon the Father's mission and serve the darkness of hell. In all three of the temptations recorded in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, Jesus denied Satan's offer with scripture, appropriately interpreted, countering Satan's use of twisted scripture. For you today... We must use our faith, nurture our faith, and grow in our faith. But we must be careful to grow straight rather than crooked. To grow straight requires bathing our worldview in the Word of God. There's nothing about popular worldview opinions that can match the strength of God's Word to avoid shipwrecking our faith. Paul gave this advice to his young ministry student, Timothy. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. Each you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.